Hey, greetings there fellow makers. Welcome to Prop 3D. I'm Bill and today I'm going to show you how to 3D print your own flexible, safe stunt props. If you're making your own short film, then it pays to have a duplicate copy of your hero props that is both flexible and safe so that you're not going to hurt your actors. This is really common for Hollywood movies. In fact, they'll usually take a hero prop and make a mold of it and then they'll cast it in a rubber. That way, if the hero is running or if they're gonna drop or throw a prop, it won't break and nobody gets hurt. We can do the same thing without molding and casting by 3D printing our own props out of a flexible filament like NinjaFlex. Most printers can be used or modified so that they can be used to print this flexible filament. However, our wonderful friends over at Lulzbot hooked us up with this Taz Mini. This guy also has their Flexi Struder installed on it and that thing is perfectly designed for printing with flexible filament super, super easily, which I appreciated. For this particular project, we went with Genji's Shuriken from Overwatch. It'll be a little bit more obvious why we picked this prop later on in the video. Also, this is a really good project to use as a beginner 3D modeling project. So if you're just getting started using something like Fusion 360 to make your own 3D printed props, then go ahead and give this one a try. I started by sketching out a rough design on paper and then I threw a photo of that sketch onto Fusion 360. Then I drew a profile of one of those blades as a sketch in Fusion. That sketch was then extruded at different depths to make the different parts of the blade. The main bladed edge was then chamfered to create that nice sharp edge. Additional chamfers were added to tidy up all of the edges. When I was happy with how the blade looked, I made a cylinder for the center of the weapon and then I did a circular pattern of the blade around that cylinder to make two more copies. After a few more touches, I combined all of the parts to complete one half of the shuriken. This model was exported as an STL and I sent it over to Cura to prepare it for printing on the Lulzbot Mini. I made sure the model was laid down flat on the print surface before kicking off the print. This guy was done at a 0.1 millimeter height, which is a pretty high detailed setting. Before hitting go on the printing machine, I put down some glue stick on the print surface. Flexible material actually sticks really well to the surface and the glue stick makes it much easier to take off later. The print itself took about three hours to complete for each side. I printed two halves of the prop to make the whole thing. When each piece was done, I peeled them off the surface. The quality of these prints were actually quite good. I did just a tiny bit of cleanup with some flush cutters to tidy it up. And you guys know I would have loved to sand it smooth, but this flexible rubbery material doesn't respond much to sandpaper. It is, however, incredibly stretchy, flexible, and durable. Now, as a non-stunt hero prop comparison, I also printed these pieces out using PLA at a slightly more refined layer height. Believe it or not, this rigid plastic piece is actually quite sharp. In fact, I accidentally poked my hand, drawing blood. Back to the rubber piece, I glued the two halves together. For this, I used my favorite for foam smithing, barge contact cement. I simply brushed the glue on the inside faces of either half. I let them dry for a good five minutes. Then I carefully pressed them together, creating an incredibly durable bond. Before painting, I masked off the areas that I wanted to stay that nice green filament color. Then I set about adding the metallic colors. After doing some paint tests on an example Ninja Flex print, I decided to go with my favorite Angelus acrylic leather paints. They're super flexible, which I thought would be a real benefit for a stunt prop. I started by airbrushing on a couple of good layers of black paint as a base coat. Then I airbrushed on a good layer of that Angelus pewter paint. This gave it a nice darker metallic sheen. Once that was dry, I did a bunch of masking with my Tamiya masking tape to cover most of the shuriken except for the places where I wanted to put the next layer of paint. That layer was done with Tamiya's chrome silver paint. When it was dry, I peeled away all of the masking, revealing a lovely two-tone metallic finish. I also peeled away the tiny bits to show off those little green accents. To seal the entire paint job, I went with a rattle can gloss varnish. Overall, I am pretty stoked with the finish on this prop. I also went and finished and painted that PLA version, which was sanded nice and smooth before painting. 
Of course, up close, you can definitely tell which is which. You can see the layer lines on the flexible version, but from about five feet away, they actually look quite similar. This makes the flexible printed prop a great thing to have on you at a convention where they might be really strict about the weapon policy. Plus, it's a great safe substitute for any filmed stunt work. And just to prove my point, we've put together a wonderful demo for you guys. In fact, we've even brought in some talent from New Zealand, Mr. Andrew DFT. G'day guys. Introducing our mortal enemy, Mr. Watermelon McCree. You can see the flexible prop bounces right off the watermelon, leaving only a slight blemish where it hits his face. The PLA Shuriken, on the other hand, causes quite a bit of damage to McCree's features. And of course, just for fun, I made an aluminum shuriken to see what we could really do to everyone's favorite cowboy. That is a horror show. There you go, gang. 3D printed stunt props are a real thing, and I really hope you guys give it a try. This was a lot of fun. Of course, we had a ton of fun putting this thing together and testing its effectiveness. We also have a handful of other projects using this flexible filament and the Lulzbot here for some more prop and costume applications. If you guys have any ideas of things you'd like us to try with this machine, let me know down in the comments below. And of course, thank you so much to Lulzbot for the machine. We're gonna be getting a ton of really, really good use out of this thing in the coming weeks. Of course, thanks to Andrew for helping us test out our awesome prop project. And thank you to you guys for coming and hanging out with us and checking out our videos. And hey, if you guys have any really cool 3D printed prop projects, then please feel free to share them with me over on Twitter. I'm at Chinbeard and I love to see what you guys are working on. Cool, that's all I have for you guys today. This was a ton of fun. I hope you guys are having a good time out there with your 3D printers. I will see you all in the next project. Happy printing. I nailed it, first try. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our new weekly prop and costume tutorial videos. For more goodies, head over to our website where you'll find blueprints, tutorial books, articles, and more. We also have a second channel for our Q&A show and extra behind the scenes videos. Thanks again and happy crafting.